Om Namah Shivaya Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om The sages asked, How is the phallic form of Shiva to be installed? What are the characteristic features of the form? How is he to be worshipped? What is the appropriate time and place for worship? What sort of person must the performer be? Sutta said, I shall tell you everything for your sake. Please listen attentively. The time must be convenient and auspicious. The place must be a holy center. It can be on the bank of a river or anywhere facilitating daily worship. It can be of partiva, earth, apya, watery, or taijasa, fiery type. If it has all the characteristics mentioned in the sacred texts, the devotee derives the fruit of worship. If it has all characteristics, it accords the fruit of worship instantaneously. A small one is recommended if it be mobile, and a larger one if it is stationary. The phallic emblem of good characteristics shall be set up in a seat of the same sort. The seat can be circular, square, or triangular in shape. The one shaped like a cot in the middle is of middle efficacy. At first, the emblem was made of earth or rock, then it used to be made with metal. If it is stationary, the phallus and the pitta, stand, should be of the same material. If the linga be mobile, the phallus and the seat shall be one piece. The length of the emblem shall be of the measure of twelve fingers of the devotee. If it is shorter, it is less efficacious. If it is longer, there is no harm. A shortage by the breadth of a finger of the devotee in regard to the mobile one is similarly harmless. A vimana, aerial chariot of artistic beauty, shall be made at first, wherein the divine attendants shall be represented. In its firm and beautiful sanctum sanctorum, shining like a mirror studded with the nine precious gems, sapphire, lapis lazuli, emerald, pearl, coral, Gomedica, diamonds and rubies, the emblem shall be installed on the altar. The Shiva Linga shall be worshipped with the mantras beginning with Sadio in five different places in order. Sacrificial offerings shall be made in the fire. Shiva and the gods of his family shall be adored. The preceptor is given monetary gifts. Kinsmen are propitiated with whatever they desire. Money is distributed among the mendicants. All objects, sentient or otherwise, and all living beings, movable or immovable, are duly gratified. The cavity is filled with gems. Mantras like sadyo, etc., are recited. The auspicious Supreme Lord is meditated upon. The great mantra Aumkar, resonant with its mystic sound, is repeated. The linga is then united with the pita, pedestal. The two are then welded together. Similarly, the embodied image shall also be fixed there auspiciously. For the sake of festivals, the embodied image shall be installed outside with the five-syllabled mantra. The embodied image shall be taken from the preceptor, or it must be one that has been worshipped by saintly men. Such adoration of the embodied image and phallic emblem accords the region of Shiva. The phallic emblem is of two varieties, stationary and mobile. For the stationary one, tending and similar service is recommended. For the mobile one, tarpana, propitiation, is recommended. Shiva Puja shall be performed with a love for the happiness of all beings. So say the wise men. The pedestal represents Shiva's consort Parvati, 
and his phallic emblem represents the sentient being. Just as Lord Shiva remains ever in close embrace with the goddess Parvati, so also the phallic emblem holds on to the pedestal forever. Such is the installation of Shiva's great phallic emblem, which shall be worshipped with due homage. The daily worship shall be made in accordance with one's capacity. So also the fixation of banners, etc. The devotee shall install the phallic emblem, and it will accord directly the region of Shiva. Or the devotee shall worship the mobile emblem with 16 types of homage and services as prescribed. It accords the region of Shiva gradually. The 16 types of service are Avahana, invocation, Asana, offering a seat, Argya, water offering, Padya, washing the feet, Achamana, water for rinsing the mouth as a mystical rite, Abhyangasnana, oil bath, Vastra, offering cloth, Ganda, scents, pushpa, flowers, dupa, incense, deepa, lamps, nivedana, food, nirajana, waving lights, tambula, betel, namaskara, obeisances, visarjana, mystical discharge and conclusion. Or the devotee need perform the rites from offering water to food offering alone, duly. Or the devotee shall daily perform, as he can, Abhisheka, ablution, Naivedya, food offering, Namaskara, obeisance, and Tarpana, propitiation, in order. It will accord him the region of Shiva. Or he shall perform all the sixteen rites with the phallic emblem of human, saintly, or godly origin, or in one naturally risen up, Svayambhu, or in one of very extraordinary nature, duly installed. If the devotee offers any gifts of articles or worship, he will get some benefit or other. By circumambulation and obeisances, he will attain Shiva's region gradually. Regular vision of the phallic emblem accords benefit. Or the devotee can make a phallic emblem out of clay, cow dung, flowers, karavira fruit, jaggery, butter, ashes, or cooked rice as he likes, and worship it according to the prescribed rules. Some authorities have recommended the worship of the phallic emblem on the thumb, etc., in these rites of phallic worship, there is no sort of prohibition whatsoever. Everywhere, Shiva accords benefit as befitting the endeavor put in. Or the devotee shall make gifts of the phallic emblem, or donate the cost of its construction. Whatever is given to a devotee of Shiva with sincere faith accords Shiva's region. Or the devotee can repeat the Pranava mantra, 10,000 times a day. Repetition of Aum, Pranava, a thousand times at dawn and at dusk is known to accord Shiva's region. At the time of the Japa, repeated utterance of the mantra, ending with prolonged um mm, purifies the mind. At the time of Samadhi, meditative trance, repetition of Omkar must be mental. Muttering it in low voice can be practiced at all times. Samadhi with bindu, dot, and nada, subtle sound, is also of the same efficacy. Or the devotee can, with due reverence, repeat the Panchakshara mantra 10,000 times a day, or a thousand times at dawn and at dusk. It accords the region of Shiva, Repetition of the five-syllable mantra, Nama Shivaya, by a brahmana prefixed with the pranava, is especially efficacious. A mantra must be received from a preceptor with proper initiation for the acquisition of the desired fruit. Ceremonial ablution when the sun transit kumbha rasi, initiation in mantras, the matrika nyasa, a brahmana, a person with soul purified by truth, 
a preceptor of perfect knowledge. All these are splendid. Brahmanas shall begin the Panchakshara mantra with Namaha, and others shall end with Namaha. With regard to women, the mantra shall end with Namaha duly. Some say that Brahmana women begin with Namaha. Repetition of this for five crores of times will render a person equal to Sadashiva. By repeating it one, two, three, or four crores of times, the devotee shall attain the region of Brahma and others. One can repeat any of the syllables a hundred thousand times, or all of the syllables separately a hundred thousand times. Or repeating all the syllables together a hundred thousand times accords Shiva's region. Or if the devotee repeats it a thousand times every day and completes a million times in a thousand days, he can achieve whatever he desires. He shall feed brahmanas every day. A brahmana shall repeat the Gayatri a thousand and eight times every day in the morning. He shall attain Shiva's region gradually. He shall repeat Vedic verses and hymns with observance of restraints. The Dasharna mantra shall be repeated either 99 times or 900 times or 9,900 times. The regular study of the Vedas accords Shiva's region. All the other mantras shall be repeated a hundred thousand times. If the mantra consists of only one syllable, it shall first be repeated a crore times, and thereafter a thousand times daily with great devotion. Doing this according to one's capacity, one shall gradually attain Shiva's region. It is the duty of everyone to repeat a mantra pleasing to Shiva every day until his death. If a man repeats Aum a thousand times, he shall get all his desires fulfilled at the bidding of Shiva. If he plants a flower garden for the sake of Shiva, or even renders service by sweeping and cleaning Shiva's temple and precincts, he shall attain Shiva's region. The devotee shall reside forever in Shiva's temple with great devotion. It yields worldly enjoyment and salvation to everyone. Hence, an intelligent man shall reside in a temple of Shiva till death. In a temple built by an ordinary man, the space up to a hundred hastas, one hasta equals 30 centimeters, from the phallic image is holy. In a temple dedicated to sages, the space up to a thousand aratnis, one aratni equals 45 centimeters, from the phallic image is holy. In a temple dedicated to sages, the space up to a thousand aratnis from the temple is holy. If the phallic emblem had been installed by gods, the space up to a thousand aratnis is holy. In a temple where the phallic emblem is self-manifested, the space up to a thousand danu pramanas, one danu pramana equals four hastas, is holy. The tank, well, pond, etc. in a holy center shall be considered Shiva Ganga in accordance with Shiva's statement. By taking bath or making gifts or muttering mantras in that center, one will attain Shiva. One shall seek shelter in a temple of Shiva and stay there till death. The rites of obsequies on the second day or the tenth day, the offerings of monthly pindas, the rite of sapindikarana or the annual shraddha shall be performed in a holy center. He will instantly attain Shiva's region. By staying there for seven, five, or three nights, or even a single night, he will attain Shiva's region gradually. He will attain results according to his conduct and befitting his caste. By the uplift in the caste and devotion, the fruit gains more efficacy. Anything done with a desire in view yields results immediately. Anything done with no specific desire in view yields the region of Shiva directly. Of the three periods of time, ordained rites shall be performed in the morning, rites for the fulfillment of desires in the midday, 
and writes for the suppression of the evil in the evening. The same thing holds good for nights, too. The two middle yamas, one yama equals three hours, at night, are called nishita. The worship of Shiva at that time accords desired results. If a man performs rites after realizing this, he shall achieve the due results. Especially in the Kali age, the achievement of fruit is due only to the precise performance of actions. If a man is well behaved, afraid of sins, and the observer of good action, he shall attain due results. The sages said, O Sutta, foremost among excellent yogis, please tell us briefly about the various holy centers by resorting to which devotees attain the region of Shiva. Please tell us about the traditions of Shiva temples also. Sutta said, All of you listen faithfully to the account of all holy centers and their traditions.